Today, we will talk about the Apple Glass. Apple Glass Augmented Reality Glasses could be a futuristic wearable product that overlays graphics in the real world around you. When we first heard word of Apple Glasses, rumors suggested the lenses would launch as soon as this year, but based on newer leaks and insider intel, the near future Apple Augmented Reality Glasses looks blurry. A longtime source for Apple product releases believes the release won't happen until 2022. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman said the earliest we'll see them is 2023. Either way, the project is definitely in the works. Apple Glass is expected to run on Starboard, or perhaps Glass OS, a proprietary operating system uncovered in the final version of iOS 13. The augmented reality framework shows up multiple times in code and text documents, meaning Apple is likely testing activation and application. Apple was just granted a patent for a direct retinal projector for VR and AR purposes, suggesting Apple Glasses may skip the display in favor of beaming images directly onto users' eyes. A new Apple Glass patent shows how Apple could protect privacy through various methods, including using a removable camera module. A patent reveals Apple's rings, which are designed for tracking finger and hand movements. Those could well improve the capabilities of Apple Glasses if they make it to production. Apple Glass Release Date Apple Glass is coming 2023 at the earliest, according to a report from Bloomberg. An Apple VR headset positioned to compete with the Oculus Rift 2 is closer to launch, but according to TF International Securities analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, perhaps the most reputable and reliable Apple expert, Apple Glass won't be ready to ship until 2022 at the earliest. However, a presentation shown internally at Apple and leaked to the information sets the launch date is 2023. As Bloomberg suggested, company will announce Apple Glass before it's ready to ship, much like it waited several months to sell the first-generation Apple Watch after its debut. Apple allegedly wants members of the media present for the unveiling, so it could wait until in-person tech events resume. As of July 10, the information reported that Apple Glass lenses had passed the prototype stage and entered trial production, an important milestone in bringing Apple's wearable device to market. In addition to Apple Glass, the Apple VR and Mixed Reality headset is also in the works and could be less complex and closer to launch. The Apple VR and Mixed Reality headset reportedly features ultra-high-resolution screens and a cinematic speaker system that should enable realistic visual experiences, according to people who have seen prototypes. Those sources also said the headset looks like a slimmer, fabric suede Oculus Quest, but the design isn't final as the company continues testing to determine the ideal fit for most head shapes. There's no word on price, though we don't expect it to be cheap. The Quest starts at $399 while HTC's Vive costs $799 and Microsoft's HoloLens 2 is a whopping $3,500. Reports claim Apple's headset could be between $1,000 and $3,000 when it launches. Like its competitors, the Apple VR and Mixed Reality headset will reportedly benefit from its own App Store, where users can access gaming, video streaming, and communication software. Voice Assistant Siri will be tasked with controlling the headset, though a physical remote and body tracking controls are reportedly being tested as well. As for a potential release date, the VR headset is on pace to debut next year and be released in mid-2022. Apple Glass Price Apple Glasses are currently priced at $499, plus prescription fees. Now that may seem low, especially compared to competing augmented reality headsets, like the Microsoft HoloLens 2. HoloLens 2 has a price tag of $3,500, but a big part of its cost comes from having all the electronics needed to run the AR experience built into the headset. Apple Glass, rather, will rely on a companion iPhone for processing, so it will have significantly less parts and complexity than HoloLens. It'll work more like the Vuzix Blade Smart Glasses, which have a built-in camera and Alexa integration. Still, Vuzix Blade starts at $799. Apple's entry point is significantly more accessible, costing as much as some of its top specs smartwatches. Apple Glass features what they'll actually do. According to a Bloomberg report, the Apple AR glasses will bring information from your phone to your face. Specifically, the eyewear are expected to synchronize with a wearer's iPhone to display things such as texts, emails, maps, and games over the user's field of vision. Apple also has plans for third-party apps and is considering a dedicated app store similar to how you get apps for the Apple TV and Apple Watch. Furthermore, a patent granted to Apple has further fueled the rumor that Apple Glass won't need prescription lenses as the smart glasses will automatically adjust for people with poor eyesight using an optical sub-assembly. However, this patent could be for a standalone smartphone-powered VR headset, 
or a second-generation pair of Apple Smart Glasses, Apple Glasses Retinal Projection Patent Images, a Ma recent patent, also suggests that Apple may employ a projection-based system that beams images directly into the user's eye. This way Apple would skip the need for any sort of transparent display. The beam would likely be able to ensure the image always stays in focus too, avoiding the issue of displays that also double as prescription lenses. Presumably however, the frames would still be able to double as regular prescription glasses for those that need them. The patent also claims that this avoids a lot of the pitfalls people may suffer in VR and AR. Apple explains that some issues, including headaches, nausea, and eye strain occur because the brain is trying to focus on objects in the distance, when the reality is they're on a display less than an inch in front of the eyes, because retinal projection better mimics how the eyes take in light anyway. These problems can be avoided. This was all known information at the moment. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, click to bell. Siri was with you.